Hey guys, so this is a video about uh, my process of making my goat sculptures and the sole reason for me creating this sculpture, well one of the sole reasons anyway, is to beat my sculpture teacher three years in a row placing ahead of him in the US Bank show over here in Western Kentucky. So we'll see if it happens and I hope you all enjoy. Okay, so this is actually some background information on the sculpture because I never actually filmed about any of the background information <laughs> and the concept and the idea. So um, I created this sculpture back in fall 2018 and um, it was different for me because I created two other sculptures similar to this one that um, I actually had uh, access to a studio at school because I was still in college then. And so this was the first sculpture that I ever made outside of school. So it was kind of a challenge um, a little bit there because I didn't have access to a lot of the tools that I use. So I had to buy some new things and um, create a space that I can actually work on my sculpture at. So that was kind of interesting doing that. But um, so the concept behind it is that um, so the first two sculptures that I made, they they I mean, there were goats, too. <laughs> Um, they also had the can the canvas cloth and the wooden legs and the first one I actually made had a wooden head and so the idea kind of behind those two is that I can actually show them both separately but I can also show them together so I had a mother goat um, that I made first and then the next semester I had these three little baby goats that I made and so the idea was that they could actually be shown together um, this so this sculpture that I created it's like my mom as the mother goat and then um, I ended up putting like pink ribbon all over it, so it was like represents cancer. So I ended up calling it invaded because it's like cancer just comes, it doesn't even ask for permission, it just comes and takes over. And so I, I kind of like, it was kind of like I guess in a way like you know cancer awareness, it's like you know this can happen. And and then the baby goat that's with this one is it represents me like nuzzling my mother like mom I'm here I know like. We probably won't be here much longer, but I'm here with you now. Um, so that's kind of the idea that I had behind it. And so when I first, you know, finally come up with an idea for a sculpture, I started like sketching it out and doing some renditions and stuff. And so that's kind of where um, I started with my sketches, kind of like as a guideline and a gate, uh, a base, <laughs> a baseline guideline um, for that. So yeah, that's what the next clip is about. <laughs> um got sawdust on it so here's like the general like aerial aerial view of my goat sketch um, there's a mama goat and the baby goat and here's kind of like the baby goat angle on the side right here and then um, so what I make my goat sculptures out of is that the body and the head is like made out of like canvas and then the legs are made out of wood and so I, I'm working on the legs right now so here's kind of like the sketches of the legs that I have um, and then the angles I want them and so I'll use this kind of like as a backdrop for what I'm going for and I don't have the baby goats legs here they're down in my dad's truck right now but I have the mama goats legs um, but they're still in progress but anyway I thought I'd show you guys kind of like where I'm going um so when I first start I'm kind of a cheapskate and also I like to recycle so I actually went dumpster diving at a cabinet shop and I got free wood so that's where I get my wood from. And then after I get my wood, I cut them up into the sizes and pieces that I want. And then I go through and I clamp them all together. These are the back legs of the mama goat. So I, it usually takes several stages of gluing to get them in the right angles that I want. And then right here, you can see how I'm kind of like drawing out the goat leg of how I want it to be. And, and then the, the, the body is gonna be made out of like wire that will support the canvas and then the wire canvas part of the upper leg would be like coming in and fitting the bottom. But anyway, I know that's kind of hard to visualize. And also it's really cold, so like I'm like shaking, like oh. Um, and then this right here is one of the front legs. I've been working on it, some right here. Um, so it's like this right here is like the front of the leg. And then um, this is the top of the leg and this right here is like the hoof. And so I'm kind of like carving that out right now. And the top of the leg, you can see it's a little bit more grounded down. It's uh, and this is my new grinder head 
that I'm using, it's really, really, it, it really cuts it down. It makes it rough, but it really cuts it down fast. So I'm really happy with that. Cuts it like butter. <laughs> anyway, so this is the stage I'm at right now. And I plan to take some more videos of me building the body. <laughs> I'm gonna need a shower tonight. Anyway, so yeah, it snowed last night. So there's snow everywhere and it's melting and the sun's out. So that's fun. All right, you guys take care and hopefully I'll be posting another clip. All right, so for every sculpture I, um, the goat sculptures, I always start with the legs first. So, um, and then I kind of build from the ground up. So um, the legs, I, I start off with um, the wood and then I draw out the legs and then I just kind of grind it down from there. So I'm just like grinding away. And then um, a lot of this process is very, <laughs> It's a, it's a very messy process. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I definitely have to take a shower every night because it is sawdust everywhere. There's sawdust in my ears, sawdust in, like, in my eyebrows and my hair, and yes, in my nose and mouth too. Um, and so this process, I usually spend a lot of time comparing like the legs a lot. So I'll like have all four of the legs. I'll be balancing... Um, them all together and looking at them and be like okay this leg is bigger than this leg this leg is skinnier than that leg and then like kind of like slowly revolving them around and like finally getting them to where they're all pretty similar and they where they're all pretty matching for the most part and then after I've gotten them to the shape that I want I actually go through all the legs with different disc grinders to like soften them up a bit and sand them down and then during that process too I'll be um, kind of like arranging the legs where I feel like they'll kind of fall with each other when they're actually on the goat body. And then I actually use the sawdust to kind of draw where the body's going to be at. So I can kind of like visualize a little bit and kind of get an idea of like about how big this thing is going to be. Um, cause usually I kind of wing it and then it just kind of ends up being as big as it ends up being. <laughs> and then, um, I take the, the baby goat too, like the baby goat legs and I arrange it with the, the body drawing leg thing that I made and kind of like get a better idea of how the actual sculpture is going to lay out with it with all the legs and hopefully eventually the body too and then um so these legs I actually ended up um staining them differently than the previous sculptures that I made um so these legs I actually did kind of like a buckskin effect with the legs and um and then also eventually I actually did the snout on the canvas too where I darkened the snout a little bit so it has like um, kind of a, like a lot of buckskin horses where they have like darker limbs like they have those kind of markings And so I was like I kind of want to go for that. So I ended up staining the legs a buckskin style the next step which is probably one it's actually one of the harder steps is Forming the body so I actually used like chicken wire to form the body of the goat and then I cut and then I we want re rewire it all together to form the body to where it will like be able to hold up the canvas that I'm gonna be eventually putting around it. The baby goat on this one was really easy. It was very straightforward, very standard, just like a goat standing kind of situation. And it was so easy to slap together. So I got that one done really fast. Hey guys, so here I am in the cabin and last night I stayed up really late working on uh, the body of the baby goat. So I have like, um, I got my sewing machine right here and I'm sewing like the head and the ears. Oh, hello Lexi. What's up? Hanging out with me? Cool. Anyway, so it's a mess in here. Um, so I got like all my tools, I got some wire, um, and I'm trying to like, you know, make the body and sew the pieces on. Um, and I've actually got some little eyelets here to um, put into the top of the legs because the legs are they're kind of wanting to come out when you lift it up so I'm going to put some eyelets in there and then I'm going to uh, wire them to the top like up here so that they don't fall out and uh, so like this is the head right here and I'm going to attach it like that when I get the rest of the body on there it's kind of hard to visualize but that's what I got going on right now and I'm going to go up and finish up grinding up the the mama's legs so we're getting there <laughs> so i got that one done really fast but the mother goat was a whole nother situation because the way she is going to be arranged she's got like an arch her her spine is arched and then um her her tummy is scrunched in so it's like 
it was really challenging snipping scrunching things in rewiring it snipping again spreading things out so that was actually one of the more challenging parts of the of this sculpture for sure and then <laughs> the most challenging part was the canvas so i actually the, the canvas on the baby goat i of course you know just like the wiring i just winged that thing together it was done for the most part but the mama goat i man i struggled i had to like get all these different pieces kind of like like to attach them together pin them together and then there's like all this extra cloth in there that i didn't need and i had to like cut that off so that was actually the most challenging part of the sculpture was putting the canvas together and sewing it on and um also trying to find like um getting the mother goat's neck to like stand up the way it was supposed to. So I had to like put a whole lot of stuffing in there. I think I actually ended up putting a little bit of wire in there too. Like a part of, I think I wired part of her neck to help keep it up because it just would not stay up. Um, so that was like something that I didn't intend on doing, but it worked out good. Her neck stays up now. <laughs> Um, interesting part about this is that I was actually living out of my camper during this time too so I actually ended up doing the final touches in my camper so um, in this final touching um, I actually did I painted the um, base I painted the bases of the canvas to help um, add to like the buckskin effect of the uh, of the legs to kind of like make them more cohesive and fit together better um, the one thing about that, after the paint dried, it really lightened up a lot. I didn't think it would lighten up that much, but I was like, this was my last night. Like, essentially, like, I was going to be pop popping these things in the car in the morning and entering it in the contest the next day. So, like, I did not have any time, and I was like, oh, whatever, you know, I'm just going to leave the paint the way it is because it dried, and then I didn't have time to paint it, repaint it at all. So, um, that was one thing that I didn't expect when I added the paint. Um, uh, that night I stayed up really, really late. Like it was a late night. I, I think it was like three o'clock in the morning when I was finally done. I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this. It's like back in college. I was doing all those all nighters. Oh, <laughs> never did I think I'd do that again. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Um, yeah. So I stayed up really, really late that night. I did the painting and actually the most expensive part of the sculpture was the the leather halter and the collar on the baby that I made uh, so those are actually the most expensive part uh, leather's very expensive and I didn't have any scrap leather and I was like oh my gosh this is like like you know I've I've recycled almost all this stuff everything I've gotten has been like recycled or like you know definitely not very expensive at all and <laughs> man that leather really bumped up my budget I was like whoa um, but it worked out really good. It looked amazing. I, I'm not gonna complain about that. So, um, so I finally got the leather part done and I finished it. And yeah, yep, I was a tired person that night. 
Alright guys, so the lighting's horrible, but here they are. Woo! <laughs> I need to go to bed. Alright, so just cleaning up my mess right now. It looks pretty good. Um yeah, so I'm gonna go get shut eye now. Not y'all. Alright, so the next day I got up and I went to work and after work I drove straight up to enter my sculpture in the contest and um, a few weeks, I guess, I, I know I think it's like a week later is the award award ceremony and um, reception, art reception. And I really, really enjoy going to those because like all my art, a whole bunch of my art friends are there. So I, and of course you get to look at a whole bunch of cool art. So it's like a really fun festival, a really fun thing to do. And so um, I got all dressed up, all fancy, and I was like, yep, let's do this. So I walked on in there and I looked at all the art and everything. And then I looked at my teacher's art and I was like, ha, he got third place. Ha, ha, ha. And then I looked at my art and lo and behold, guess what place I got? got first place guys so <laughs> um, yeah so it was definitely mission success I it was I let's see how much I spent probably like three four months creating the sculpture like it was over a period of a long time and I was working on it mostly on the weekends because I was working full-time so whew, it was a really nice ending to kind of like a last hurrah I guess um, and like, <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about beating your teacher and especially doing it three years in a row. And I, I left grinning. I, I think I grinned for like, I was like grinning and smiling for like a whole week after that. I was just like, I can't believe I did that. This is so cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> my teacher's always rubbing it in. I was, I was like, I was like, I was like, so <laughs> I beat you. <laughs> He's like, well, you see, like, I feel like that's the teacher's most precious moment when their student beats them that means you know that that reflects on how good the teacher is i was like oh my gosh you know <laughs> just suck it up i beat you i'm better um <laughs> anyway that was fun i i really really enjoyed the process of making the sculpture it is extremely time consuming you have to definitely be dedicated anyway so yeah that is how I make my goat sculptures, and maybe someday I'll make another one. <laughs> Alright, you guys take care.